Where did we just end up? Well, I can't talk right now, but... Hey, that's... Did we make it? Okay, guys, sneak in. Look at this. This area is being surveillance by video. We need to set up camp. I don't think we should set up camp in the caves, because that's where the bandits set up camp. Yeah, I think yeah, it's kind of dangerous right. around here. All right, so okay. I am convinced I one of you guys is the traitor. You know what? I'm done. Oh, oh my gosh, Mama's leaving. We're not, I'm gonna I go promise. back this way. No, you can't go that way. I don't want to be tracked by bandits. No, don't, don't leave. Give me the wishing stone tie. I need to see it. I need no. to see it. Yes. Hey, I've, got about, I've got information about it. I've got information about it from the bandits. You guys are Everybody's no, leaving me. Jordan went this way. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Snake's close. I'm gonna go find Snake. Okay, that's it, I'm done. I don't know who I can trust anymore, guys. I'm going off by myself and I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna return back to camp, but I just, I can't be around him because I don't know who I can trust anymore. I feel like I tell Ty something and then he spills it to someone else and I feel like I could trust Jordan, but then like she does something that acts really suspicious. So I'm just gonna go off in the woods and I can't stay in the RV anymore. I, I can't hide, I can't run from the bandits. I have to do this by myself. I have no idea where I'm at too. Like, oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna set up camp over here. There's like a little clearing. There's a bunch of trees over here. I don't know. This is kind of spooky because I know like, even though the bandits are very scary, I don't know what this place is like at night and there might be bears. I didn't bring anything. I was not smart. I did not bring any food. I did not bring any supplies. I didn't bring any water. I don't even have my phone. The only thing I have with me is this watch. Like I left everything behind. So <sighs> wish me luck. I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take some of these sticks and build a shelter and then I absolutely need to get a fire started. I don't know how to build a fire, you guys. I've never, I don't know if I've ever built a fire from just the woods. I'm gonna set you down over here. I'm gonna build a shelter up against this tree. I've never done this before either, but I, I think it, I'm just gonna build like a leaning shelter using these sticks and just hope that it's good enough. And maybe I can use some branches. Also, another thing I'm scared about is getting ticks. I've never, knock on wood, <laughs> I've never gotten a tick before, so I don't really know what it's like, but I don't want to know what it's like. Uh, I wish I was more prepared. You know what, maybe I should move, should I move this? No. I'm gonna build a shelter over here. All right, I'll be back. Oh my gosh, guys, I am being attacked by flies. I think they're horse flies, but they are so annoying. I can't, I'm like losing my marbles. I cannot handle them. Oh my, you guys can probably hear them. They're so obnoxious. Anyways, ah, go away. I found, I like, I built this hut right here. I found enough sticks to build it. This is the rough outline of it. Not too shabby. And I am going to be staying on the inside of it, but um, in order to complete it, I need to put like leaves on it, make it like, and also in case it rains, cause it has rained here before. Um, so I'm gonna put like some brush on it to cover it up a little bit and also camouflage because if anyone comes out here, they won't be able to see me as well if my sticks are covered, you know? So let's go do that real quick. Okay, my shelter is almost done. We've made some good progress. I've covered it with leaves, so it's mostly hidden. You can't really tell. That took a lot of work though, guys. Like, honestly, that was, was a lot of my strength and energy. Um, but this is what the inside looks like. I think I'll be okay to stay in here for at least one night. And then I'm gonna assess the situation as to whether I wanna go back to camp or keep living by myself. Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. Oh my gosh, it's on the lens. If you guys saw that, wow. But now I gotta start building a campfire. So I'm gonna grab some stones. I'm gonna build away from my shelter just because I don't want Smokey Smokey to get in my, um, my little shack. So I'm gonna start building a fire over here. I'll place you on the lock. I'm gonna just make a circle around this area right over here. But guys, this is very spooky because I don't know if I'm gonna like run into snakes or anything. This was not a bright move of me. 
But I'm also like sweating. There's no showers out here. I kinda hope it rains, but also kinda hope it doesn't rain because then I'm gonna be soaking. Oh my gosh! Ew, look at this. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely disgusting. What is that? What is that? Ew! 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 Ew, there's like maggots everywhere. Ew, this is so gross. Okay, well, I mostly built my fire. Let me show you. I put these stones here while I was also working on my tent. This wasn't all done just right now, but. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my tent because I am freaked out about the little maggots. That was the grossest thing I've ever seen. Going back to what I was saying earlier about the bandits. So, because I was captured, I had the pleasure of kind of being the spy, the, the captive spy, I guess you could say. There's so many bugs, I have to keep walking. I'm just gonna be walking on the trail and then I'll come back to my hut. But anyways, as the captive spy, I've learned a lot of things. So first of all, I know that there is a traitor among us. I know for a fact there's someone. Whether it's in our family, whether it's outside of our family, what if it's one of you guys? I have no idea. Someone that knows us is definitely a traitor. And I mean, to me, it would make the most sense that it would be someone in our family because they know the most about us. And if I had to place any bets, I'd have to place my bets on David. Now, the reason why I think it's David is because when I was held captive at the Bandits Town, as you guys saw, um, I had a blindfold on for most of the time. So I couldn't really see anything during the day. And at night, they let me take the blindfold off. And it was very dark, but I was able to see the surroundings around me. Like, I, I was able to see the rooms I was in. And, like, the ceilings were caved in. And it was super old, worn down, really creepy at night. But one day, my captor, which I don't know which bandit it was that captured me, but um, he was on... Um, uh, the phone with what I assume is David because I heard David's voice or at least someone that sounds like David. It sounded like my dad on the phone. I think David is the traitor because I heard David's voice. Um, that's why I can't really trust David is because I just don't know. There's a lot of clues going against him. And then when we were at the bandits camp, like he went into Doc's house and I don't know if he talked with Doc. I was in a different cabin, um, but it was very suspicious and also Ty like makes me a little bit suspicious too. I don't know if it's like, if there's two traitors, more than one traitor. I didn't even think about that before. Wait, what if there's two traitors? There could be two traitors. Anyways, Ty is also on my radar because every time we find a new clue, like the bottle or the, the stone, the wishing stone, like he has to hold on to it. He won't let anyone else hold it. And that's also very suspicious because if he's working for himself or with the bandits, he wouldn't want anyone else have it. So I think those guys are on my top radar out of everyone in the family, but I'm still like very suspicious of everyone. Um, but anyways, uh, something I found out at the bandits town was, as you guys know, I told the camera this a little bit when I was around everyone, but there's way more bandits than we think of there are. Like there is a whole town of bandits and they pick up and move all the time. And they're mostly only at their camp at nighttime. Like during the daytime, they're, they're moving, like they're going out and doing stuff. And I have no idea what they're doing. Maybe they're finding the treasure, maybe something else. Um, but they're going around and they're not really at base as much. I mean, there's some bandits at base, but not as much. While there's a lot of bandits that we know of, there's also girl bandits. And from what I heard, the girl bandits are mean. Like they are way, way more mean than the boy bandits. And also I think the lead band of them all is a lady. I don't know their names. I managed to see one though, and she had black hair. So the only feature I know is that she has black hair and it's a lady, but there's, there's lady bandits and boy bandits. And I know none of my family have seen any of the girl bandits yet, but I just wanna, I, I know for myself that they're out there, so I can't trust anyone now. Um, so anyone that looks remotely like a bandit or is wearing like cowboy clothes, like I'm running away from. I heard, what's that noise? I thought I heard something, guys. I don't know. I don't know, I can't, I can't tell if there's someone following me. I can't tell if it's someone in my family or if it's a bandit. Okay, we gotta keep our voices down more. Anyways, I think I wanna come up with a plan though because as you know, Ty has the wishing stone and 
I don't think Ty should have the wishing stone. If anyone, I should have it because I was the one at the bandits camp. I know for a fact, you guys should know that I am not the traitor. Why would I be at the bandits camp captured with a blindfold over my eyes if I was the traitor? Like that wouldn't make any sense. So I know that I could be the one that's gonna be the most trustworthy for the wishing stone. But I don't know about anyone else. I gotta start making a fire. Here, I'm gonna grab some sticks. Okay guys, I'm at my little campfire. I don't know how to make a fire. What I've seen on shows is you just like kind of rub this together. <laughs> I know from Minecraft you need flint and steel, but like I don't know what that looks like in real life. So I just have sticks. And I'm gonna like try to rub them really fast to see if I can spark anything. Because if you get enough friction together, I feel like it would start something. So anyways. Also, another thing is, I wanna, I know I wanna be out here by myself. I don't know how long I'm gonna be staying out in the woods by myself, but I know I have to be out here and collect my thoughts and think of all the facts that I have. And I, but I want to go back sneakily. Like, I don't want them to know I'm coming back. I wanna come back and take the wishing stone. And then also, another thing is, I need that map. I don't know where it went when we all scattered, but someone took the map. And it's not me, like, and I am the map interpreter. So I need to get the map back because there was way more on that map that revealed about other treasures and spots that we need to go to that I think the bandits are after. And so if we can beat them to it first before the trader gets there and works with the bandit to the treasure, then I think, I think we'll be in the lead and we'll be winning. So this is not working. Maybe it's a stone. Do you like rub it with a stone? I don't know. So anyway, that's my plan so far, my plan of action. Um, oh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, oh my gosh, none of this is working. I'm walking, the bugs are showing me again. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep here tonight. <gasps> Guys, look. Look in the trail. There's some prints, they look like hoof prints. What are these? Do you think that could be like horse hooves? I know some of the bandits ride on horses, so that could that could very well be a horse hoof. And that means the bandits could have been here. Wait, what if where I'm at right now is part of the treasure map? <sighs> Man, I wish I would have taken a picture of it on my phone. I don't have my phone with me right now, but I wish I would have taken a picture of the treasure map on my phone because then maybe I would be able to go off and find it by myself and I have a copy. Okay, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe what I should do, guys, and I need you guys to comment down this comment this down below if you think it's a good plan. But I, maybe what I should do is to ensure the safety of the treasure and the map. I think I should take a picture of the map on my phone and then burn the map or bury it or destroy it so that no one else can have it because that map is a dangerous tool to have. It is is it's like is super nice. So I don't want anyone else to come into contact with it if they have the wrong intentions and the wrong power. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take the map and destroy it or bury it or get rid of it and have it, a copy of it on my phone. Um, but yeah, maybe there's like secret messages on the map. I didn't even think about that. There might be secret messages like hidden in like the clear ink. There's a lot of things I need to do before I come back into the woods. I don't know, I kind of don't like staying in the woods by myself. Like, I feel like I need someone from my family to come with me, but I don't know who I could trust the most. Like, maybe Jordan, maybe Jake, maybe my mom out of everyone. I don't know, it's just too suspicious though. So, it's hard because no one else was with me when I was at the bandits camp. So I, I don't know what they've been up to while I've been gone, so. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out a plan. But anyways, some more things I've learned at the bandits camp. They found another treasure. And the reason why I know this is because while I was just chilling at the bandits camp in the creepy hidden room, they found another treasure. It was not the one on the treasure map. They actually stumbled upon this treasure by accident. But this treasure is really powerful. And I've heard them, I don't know what exactly the treasure is. I just heard them say that they're gonna use it against us and that they're after the treasure map treasure next. 
So I don't know how they found the hidden one or where they found it, but they found a, another treasure. So we need to get that one away from them as well while finding the new treasure. It's just a mess. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. I have so much information that I feel like I can't even reveal on camera because I don't know if someone in the audience is a traitor as well. <sighs> Maybe also comment down below saying you are not the traitor if you are absolutely not the traitor. If I can trust you, you need to tell me so I know if I could say more things to the camera because right now I feel like I can't say anything. Okay, it's kind of getting, it's kind of getting later in the day. You guys can't really tell, it looks bright outside, but when it gets like later in the day, it gets dark and you can't really tell on camera. I'm not gonna go to bed yet, but I'm gonna continue working on my shelter over here. I'm gonna continue working on this shelter and find some food. Um, and then I'm gonna come back for another update, but not in this video. So keep an eye out guys Let me know any clues that you find. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go build my shelter All right, everybody So I am actually I decided to step away from the family because I wanted to fill you guys in on my thoughts About the traitor and everything and about bandits this season. Oh my goodness. There's a fly <laughs> It's a fly on you. Ah! Okay, so anyways, I wanted to take you guys with me. I'm, I've been just going like along here collecting these flowers and stuff because, I don't know, I've been really into like crafty stuff lately so I wanted to make a flower crown because I thought it would be really fun. But anyways, so I've been thinking about the traitor. I don't know about you guys, but there have been a lot of clues in these videos and I hope you guys have been writing them down because I think it's gonna come down to very specific clues because literally everybody has done something that makes them seem like the traitor because I've been like collecting kind of notes in my phone and everything on pe on things that people have done and so I'll let you guys know all of my insider scoop. Let's keep going on this walk and finding flowers. Okay, um, let's continue down the path. Oh my gosh, there's all these flowers and stuff. They're so pretty. I just want to pick them because I want to make the most pretty flower crown ever and I could take like super cute Instagram pictures and everything for it. Follow me on Instagram just went through three underscore so promo. <laughs> but anyways, um, I don't know. It's just kind of nice to be alone honestly, you know, I'm just chilling out here walking through this forest. Literally no one is here. It's just pure forest and myself. And so, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of all my thoughts, gather my thoughts. Cause I don't know, things have been a little crazy with the bandits recently. They've um, been acting up again. And I know that they took a, the bandits like, kind of didn't bug us for a while. But now they've been going really crazy hardcore. So, I guess some people would be kind of nervous going off on their own because they think maybe the bandits would be following them or something. But honestly, I feel like totally at, at peace over here. I feel like, I don't know, I just don't feel like there's any bandits watching me but y'all should let me know if you see anything i don't know i'm really just chill i just want to like go have a good little afternoon and go make my flower crowns maybe roast to s'mores or something i don't know oh my goodness okay you know i think this is where i'm gonna set camp i just found this um camp fireplace um i don't know who left this but i could use it so let's set up welcome to the campsite okay so First order of business, I want to put my hair up because <laughs> it's actually hot here. Um, oh my goodness, there's bugs everywhere. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna do the messiest bun ever. I hear a lot of birds, honestly. Like, do you hear that? There's a ton of birds in this area. Anyways, okay, this is a crazy bun, but moving on. I think we should start making flower crowns. <laughs> okay, I basically just take these flowers I picked and then I kind of take them and I'm gonna like weave it together and everything. And then I'm gonna take, after I weave it all together and make it super pretty, I think I'll take grass and um, secure it and everything. So I'm just gonna keep weaving these. Anyways, back to bandit. I was thinking, and I was trying to come up with who's the traitor, and I really don't think, I don't know, I really don't think it's mom, honestly, because there's not much evidence, you know? 
on her. I feel like she hasn't really done anything that's really suspicious. I mean, she's done a few things. I don't feel like she's done a lot of things. So, I don't think it's mom. Tyler was a little suspicious. That one time in the one video when he had like the chest uh, and we thought it was like explosives or something, we had no idea what it was. Ty just kind of ran off with it and he wouldn't let any of us see it. So that was kind of spooky. Other than that, I mean, I don't remember very many suspicious things that he did. So I don't think he has a lot to do with the bandits. I don't know, he does act a little weird sometimes though. Like sometimes when David is acting suspicious, Ty gets suspicious. So I wonder if there's multiple traitors in the family or if there's any traitors at all. I'm not a traitor y'all. I'm just chilling here, living the good life. <laughs> well, there's flies everywhere. But I just am, I just wanna be like chill. I wish the bandits would just go away because it's quite annoying when they come and they try and um, spy on us and snatch our treasure and everything. Okay, I think I've got this flower crown pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. That's actually so cute. Should I put it on? Ooh, okay, I need to like put this bit up. Look at that, it's actually kind of really cute. Wait, okay, I also brought this one I made earlier because I'm a little, um, I should make like a craft channel. I'm a little like crafty girl. Look at this. Dun, 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 dun. This one's all pink. It's like called Pink Rose Crown. So I'll also wear that one. Okay, I've seen a lot of you guys make like different um, diagrams and stuff about all the different clues on who could be the traitor. And I've seen it. You guys have emailed us some of your diagrams that you've drawn. And I've seen them on Instagram. I've seen you guys just make a ton of posts about it. And even commenting like your theories in the comments. I read those because I want to keep up to date on everything. And so, yeah. Oh my goodness, wait. Hold up, backtrack. Hold on. I just think I spotted a trail. Yo, there's my campfire. I think I spotted a trail. Look at this. Look at that. You see where the um the trees divide right there and there? That bit right there. That looks like a trail, literally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just zoomed in the camera way, way too far. That actually looks like it could be something though. I have no idea. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> but um, we've seen all your diagrams and everything. And so I figured I should go through and make my very own diagram of all my thoughts and theories because I've got a lot of insider details because I was there when some people did some suspicious things. And so I wanted to write it all down so that way I could see who has the most amount of suspicious things and then decide on who I think the traitor is. Oh my gosh! There's a birdhouse over there, y'all! Look at that! There's literally, oh, you can't even see it on camera because it's d too dark. But there's literally a birdhouse right on that tree right there, this one right here. There's a birdhouse right there, you can't see it, it's too dark. I can't believe they have a birdhouse out here. Like, literally, I'm just in the middle of the wilderness. This is kind of crazy. Um, anyways, <laughs> looks like this is the spot that I was meant to go to because it's got a birdhouse, it's got like a trail, even a campfire, literally. I guess this is just like, prime spot for camping or something. Okay, I'm gonna find an area where there's less grass. Okay, I've been walking some more and I found another campground and I found even this like log seat and there's some wood chopped down over there. So I guess people have been here before, but I also found this road and I thought this is the perfect place for me to literally write out my entire theory. So I don't know about you guys, I think I'm pretty lucky for finding this place and for finding all those campsites and everything because Literally, this is like a perfect area for me to stay. Okay, here's this road. It's like literally so mysterious in the middle of the, <laughs> the middle of the wilderness. I don't know, but I don't know. I figure I could use it to write out my plan. So I'm gonna grab a stick. I'm gonna write it right here. Okay, I actually decided to come off the road a little bit because I realized if there happens to have a car pass by, that's not safe. So don't recommend that. I don't think there's gonna be any cars though because I don't really see any, but I did find tire prints. I don't know if you can see them right here. Which is kind of strange, honestly, because I'm in like the middle of nowhere in like a forest, so kind of strange, but people have obviously been here before, so that's, I don't know, maybe this was an old campsite or something, but anyways, okay, so I'm gonna write out my plan. This is like the perfect dirt for it, so. Where did my stick go? Oh, here it is, okay. So, I'm going to draw it. Okay, so if I think 
back. I think the main suspect is honestly dad. I think David is being very suspicious. So I'm gonna put him in a circle in the middle. If I think back to some videos, he always is like running off. Like when we were in that ghost town, he ran off to go see other, like to go see the bandits and to go investigate. But he never wanted anybody else to come with him. He wanted to go by himself. So I think that's pretty suspicious. He also is working with Snake, and so he's definitely got an insider loop on everything, which is kind of mysterious and a little suspicious because what if Snake is actually a bandit and now they've converted David to be a bandit as well? I have no idea. I don't really know much about Snake because he tries to keep his identity confidential and Dad hasn't really told us anything about Snake, which I think is suspicious because I think if I were talking with Snake, I would tell the whole family what he said but i don't really know very much about him so i would say david is number one he's right here this is not the best ground to draw in but david's right here my next suspect that i would think i'm guessing it would be i think audrey honestly and i think audrey because she hasn't been in very many bandits videos and I was like, okay, I know she was off exploring and that she was navigating because she's the navigator of the family. She's really good at like reading maps and everything. So that one time she was off exploring reading the map, but kind of suspicious because she hasn't been here for a lot of the bandits things. And so what if she was actually with the bandits while we were filming, you know? What if she's been working with bandits the whole time? We don't know like where she's been. She's been off navigating and exploring on her own. So I think Audrey, is the second one that's most suspicious. We're gonna place her as a rock. This is my ranking system based on most suspicious. So David is this little patch that I've dug out right here and Audrey's are these rocks, <laughs> I don't know. And so I think the next step that's the most suspicious would probably be, I don't know, I think probably Jacob. I think Jacob because he hasn't really said much. And that could be a little suspicious because that could easily mean that he's working with the bandits and he's just trying to keep it low and low key. He's not trying to say anything because people, he doesn't want people to be suspicious of him. So that kind of raises some flags because he could just be gathering information and reporting back to bandits. We have no idea because we don't know who the traitor is. So I'm gonna put Jacob as um, right here. He's gonna be the stick. So we've got David, Audrey, Jacob, okay. Next up, I know it's not me, obviously, because I'm myself, and so I know that I'm not working with the bandits because otherwise why would I be making this video, am I right? Um, <laughs> I'd say next up, I guess Ty, because he acts really suspicious. Whenever David starts acting weird, Ty acts weird. So I'm gonna put Ty as these blades of grass. <laughs> okay, that's Ty. And that leaves the last one to be Katie, aka Mom. So I don't think she's it. So we can cancel out Katie. I don't, I mean, she's done some suspicious things, but I just don't see her being the traitor, you know? And she hasn't done very many things. So I think, I think it's not mom. I don't know. I don't think it's Ty or Jake. So we could cancel them out. And that leaves it between David and Audrey. Now, I have no idea which one it is because they've both done suspicious things. Well, David's been probably the most suspicious, but <gasps> also, oh my goodness, also, no wait, Jake's back in, Jake is back in my suspicious um, circle because that one time in the video he said that um, like he wanted, I can't remember what he said, but he like stumbled on his words saying something about when we were trying to find Audrey, he said something about like, I don't know how he didn't want to find her or something. Like he almost implying that he wants the bandits to have her. And so I thought that was really, really suspicious. And it could just be stumbling on his words, but also, I don't know. I don't know, I would not stumble on my words about a serious subject like Audrey going missing to the bandits. So I don't know about that one, but he's also on the radar. So I would say it's between David, Audrey, or Jacob. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. And I don't know, I'm just gonna chill here at this little campsite for now. I'm gonna continue making flower crowns. And you guys should make some flower crowns sometime too because they're quite fun. And who knows, maybe you guys will also stumble upon an abandoned campsite or something. I don't know, but make sure you stay safe if you do go off exploring. 
and have your parents' permission. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys gathered some clues, but let me know what your thoughts are down below because I'm really confused. If you have any clues, comment down below. Okay, goodbye. Okay guys, so we found this awesome camp site. It already has a campfire, like there's a rock yeah, nearby, no a here, river that you can hear. In the river there's like some type of beaver dam starting, I don't know, it's just a pile of sticks and everything. I'll show you the campground right now. So this is the campground, there's the oh, fireplace. Yeah, there's no one here, which is strange. I see. This helps us because we don't have to gather rocks now. Yeah, There's true. already some wood in there. And then we got this sitting stone. Oh, better sitting stone. There and also there. That's we fine. have like these different pathways that go into different areas. I'm kind of scared to go through them. Mm -hmm. I want to figure out how the wishing stone works. Yeah, there's multiple of those pathways. We got some tiny trees. I'm going to try um, rubbing it in. What should I wish for? Uh, I don't know. Can it is to be gone? No. Or should we just know. test it out? Let's first? let's try it later, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to stick with the rest of the goat because one of them has to be a traitor, and I know Ty, he's not the traitor because he's always around me. Like that's pretty good evidence that he's not because if he's always around me, then how could he be going to like a bandit to tell them? Like he's always, yeah? Um, we should um, build something like shelter soon. Because we have a bunch of sticks here, but I think we need more. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be rainy today, so maybe it, 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 tomorrow we stay out here long enough. <laughs> um, I see this trail up ahead that looks pretty clear. I think I'm going to go walk down there. Oh wait, I forgot. I almost forgot to show you like the beaver dam area. Okay, so it's just over here. I'm not sure if it's a beaver dam. I'm just saying it is. But it's just a pile of sticks that I'm not sure of. So it's right over there. As you can see, One thing I wish right now, it's starting. I want to try to wish for bug spray. Okay, try. Okay, I'm going to try rubbing it. I wish for bug spray. I don't see anything. I don't think it works. Yeah, me neither. Let's take a look around. Maybe back over here. We need to secure the area, make sure there's no bandits because no this was, food. yeah, also food, but there was already a star campfire, so that could have been bandits it or could someone. It's a very old one because mm -hmm. I don't, it's not warm or anything. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna check down this path a little bit. Um, it doesn't look like there's much back here. Look. What? You see it? The stone what? is like in a perfect straight wall. It could oh. be like an underground bunker. Maybe. Could be like a building in What there? if bandits are around there? Let's go this, let's go away. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing back there. Like, as you can tell, just a wall and we got chicken out out there because it's pretty scary. There's a ton of pine trees. Oh, we have pretty flowers, a bunch of them. Oh yeah, the, the flowers look like these. They look like those. Ooh. Like that. Yeah, Jib, do you want to go down there? I don't. Oh, down there? Uh, I don't want to go through the leaves, but that does look like a trail. Maybe like... Yeah, maybe. Hey, wait, what's that over there? Hey, Ty, go grab that. Go grab that. It's right over there. Don't you see that? It's like, it's just right over here. It, it's shined into my eyes. It's a fishing pole. Yeah. And it already has like a line and everything. Maybe you can try fishing. Okay. So <laughs> we could get food now. Okay, let's not, not, let's not be in this area because we don't want to lose the only um, hook we have. Uh -huh. Yeah, so let's go back to our little like camp area and try to fish there. Okay. We're gonna check over by the camp area and see if it's good fishing or if it's just like a cliff and we'll get caught on rocks. So then that's not really that good for fishing. Should I try to wish again? Um, wish I wish totally not. Maybe okay, like it, it does the gone. opposite of what you say. I wish for the bandits to be gone. Here, uh, go fishing, Ty. Okay, I'll try. I'm gonna look for a stone to skip, okay? Let's see if I can skip a stone. Check on the ground if you see any skipping stones. I don't really see. Oh, wait. I just did. How did I say that? <laughs> did you catch something, Ty? It's a spinner. Oh, it's a spinner? Okay. I'm gonna try skipping my rock. Ready? Oh, that's the fishing rod. Ready? Oh, no. Set. I got stuck. No, Ty. You got stuck. Oh, I fixed it. Okay. Okay, go. Watch this, Ty. Nope, okay. I can skip a rock. Let's see, let's see if we can find food like you've been saying. Okay. Besides fishing. So let's leave the fishing pole by the campfire. So, um, we need to find food. 
So I know like there's like these light green plants Jacob. on the pine trees. Sorry. I forgot. What? I um, didn't forget. Our bait on our spinner. We, we need, need bait. bait on our spinner? Yeah. Do oh. We? Wait, do we? I don't think we do. Uh, actually, no. Nah. Okay. Um, I know like on these pine trees, if you find like these brand new leaves, like this type of green, you see, you see how this is lighter and this is darker. It's You're smoother. supposed to be able to eat this light green stuff, but it doesn't fill you up. It's just like um, chewing gum. So basically, you don't eat it, eat it, you know. We should, should we go down there? No. You... <laughs> I'm gonna go down there. Okay. Tell me if you see anything, Ty. Or should we find rocks to skip? Because I'm getting do bored. Do Ty skip? Ty cam. Ty cam. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going down this trail trying to find food. There's the wall again. Oh, it keeps on going down even further. Do I want to go down there? No, I don't want to go down there. Uh, maybe later. It goes down far. Uh, did, what did you find so far? There's nothing there. Nothing? I don't know what else we got to do. Oh, we need to find um, some type of lighter or something because we need to be able to light the fire that we're gonna have tonight so let's see if we can find anything maybe if we go along this path where we found the fishing rod we maybe there will be try, something else we could just try these. to make sparks with like flint and steel in case of these rocks have it uh, i don't think we that can do that that would be our last resort or we can like try spinning wood <laughs> True. but i really want to find like some type of lighter like because somebody left out a fishing pole. Who just leaves out a fishing pole in the middle of nowhere? Where are you going, Ty? Did you hear something? something? I found this. Huh, there must be some type What's of this? I don't know what that is. It's I like keep on some hearing type stuff. of cement. Um, you know, I'm having second thoughts on going in that trail, Ty. I think we should not go back there because maybe the snapping twigs were deciding not to go there because um, we found a fishing pole. Maybe we're not meant to find light or anything. Can we all figure out how to do this? Like, how do we make a wish with it? Yeah. How, how come you're always like hoarding the treasures though? No, no, tell me and then you can have it back. It's because I think someone's the traitor, so I don't uh -huh. want to give them it. You know, this would be a good thing to throw. Like, it's kind of like a baseball bat. Not a baseball bat. <laughs> baseball ball. Baseball. Baseball? Yeah, baseball. I don't want to drop it, though, because it looks like some type of glass stone or crystal. You know what I mean? It looks more like crystal, though. But yeah. I don't think we should throw that because if it breaks... Oh, when you look through it, you see, like, a thousand cameras. It's pretty cool. I don't know what else to do. We gone down the tra random trails and there's not much there. We tried going through the fire, but it's we don't think there's anything there because we got some type of sign. I know how to skip a stone, come here. Oh, okay. You're gonna show me how it's done? Okay. <laughs> I Why do I feel like we've been going in circles? <laughs> Here's my tactic. Hold it on like this, finger underneath, and shut. Okay. Nope. And I missed. Let's see if I can do it. Yeet. Here, you can have it back. Here, Ty, do Ty cam. Ty you cam. Do your Ty cam. I'm gonna set up the camp and then make us have a chair, you know? So we have a nice place to sit. Okay, you're getting a chair. Where should I go? I'm gonna try to go back out there again. Hope if I hear any more snapping branches, I'm gonna go back. I'm so having second thoughts about this. I'm going. Bugs. Oh no, 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 there's bugs everywhere. There's all these little ant hills. So, and I'm having second thoughts. If you guys couldn't hear that, that was snapping branches. And now I'm getting scared. Yeah, I'm not going back over there. Ooh, there's a pretty purple flower. We really need to make a shelter fast. What? Who do you think the traitor is in our family? I don't know, I think David. David? He is p pointing the fingers at everyone besides himself and yeah. he's acting really suspicious. Like, really suspicious. Like, he's thinking everybody but him is the traitor. Which doesn't make sense. He's the only so, one that's talked to Snake. Yeah, only one to talk with the bandit Snake. Well, he bandit. points fingers and he doesn't tell me the secret jobs that Snake gives him. I want to know. I'm getting attacked by bugs. Ty, what are you doing? Flip, skipping stones again? We got more firewood right over here. 
got our firewood. Only one problem is that we don't have anything to light it. So we may or may not be having a fire tonight. So I don't think we're gonna have a fire tonight. I really wish we did because it's gonna be a cold night. I don't know where we're gonna be sleeping. You flipped, you got, you skipped a stone? Yeah, look. Okay, show this me. This is a perfectly flat one. Oh, nice. Okay, I figured out the strategy. We're getting off track here. We're getting really off track. Like, I was just talking about firewood. We're trying to skip stones for entertainment, and we have nowhere to sleep. We need to make our bed in just dirt, apparently. Resuming with Thai stuff. <laughs> so I have to go. Yeah? I have to go down here. I skipped it twice, not three times. Oh, don't go down that far, Ty. That's a bit dangerous. I did Be time. careful. Three times. Did you see that? Yep. Okay, so Ty, where's your stone? stone? Where's your stone chair? Oh, come here. I need your help, though. Oh, I'm not gonna lift that big boy stone. I can't lift that. Uh, have it later tonight, okay? We'll, we'll do it later tonight, okay? Are you saying it? Just... Because it's big and heavy and I don't really feel like carrying it. My last resort is eating bugs, by the way. Oh. True. Delicious. <laughs> I lost topic. Oh. Oh my, a big this mosquito ever. What? He was like a mosquito like this big. How big? This big. And it just flew off over there. I swear, the bugs are evolving. Yeah. I'm gonna go down the trail, see if it's allowing us. Maybe the like creature or animal that was down there is gone. Did Maybe just, just check out the place. I'm still being attacked by bugs. I really hope those bugs spray. Did you hear that rumbling? I think that's just the river. It didn't sound like the river. Oh, okay. okay. Let's go, let's go together. I don't wanna leave one man behind because we might be attacked by bears. I'm so here to go. Truck back there. We gotta go. Okay, let's run. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely a sign of civilization that happened here because who would just make a campfire, burn stuff, and then leave? It sounds yeah. like a bandits thing. Um, they could what? be in the forest, the bandits, and then yeah. they left it here, and they're probably coming back for it. Wait, Ty, did you hear that? Yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know. I don't think. We should go either way, but we have to go one way. Yeah. Where should we go? I don't know. Um, do you, is there anything in there, guys? Come down below if you see anything. Anything useful. I don't see anything. So, Tyler wants me to go back to the campground, which I think is a little you know suspicious. While you're over there, I came over here, and yeah? when I was about to go on the trail, I heard something again. You did? Over there. You sure you're not just hiding me from like a lighter or something or like no. food? Fine, go on the trail. Right there. The trail's right there. Go. Oh, but you're gonna come with me, right? Nope. No, oh, you may be scared. <laughs> you sure? Maybe we'll find like some type of pillow or bedding. Fine, let's go. Okay. Why why are you bring a stick? Actually I don't know why. You get some weird ideas and then I ask him about it. I think Tom may actually be the bandit. What did you say? Nothing. Are you saying because that I'm the bandit? That's really suspicious. No, I didn't. Okay. What is that smell? Oh. This is minty hmm. as well. Smell it. Mm, it does smell minty. Here, guys, you can have a smell. Oh, wait, it's not smell of vision. <laughs> what happened to this tree? It looks like it's been cut down. Ty, look. Where did the look at this. It looks like it's been cut. Not like chewed or, or like it died or fell over. It could fall over. It looked like it was totally cut off. Maybe some person didn't want a tree here. They made it. They, for firewood. Because that's so why the there's wood over are there. Here? That's why there's wood over there probably. Yeah. But why cut down this tree? What you leave so many trail? other trees. What happened to the trail over here? It looks like it was overgrown. It was just here a second ago though. It was? Yeah. Guys, I think we're getting a bit lost. <laughs> we should we go back to the camp. Yeah, let's go over this way. You see anything? No. Sorry. But Never go. mind, let's not go over there. <laughs> yeah. I know that's just a bird, but it's it scared me. It made me scared. And guess what? Oh, what? It scared me. I saw a ton of mosquitoes back there. Andrew's one chasing us. Okay, where are we? Guys, we'll be right back when we find our way back to the camp. Okay guys, so we found our way back to the camp. I know we kind of didn't really go that far, but I was a little bit turned around, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I think we may be going to bed because it's really late. 
Like the sun's going down. It's nine in the morning. <laughs> I just want to see one last thing. This. What? If it touches water and we make a wish, will it work? Uh, that doesn't sound reasonable. I just want to try it. Mm, maybe in the morning. Because what if something spectacular happens and we're gonna miss it because we may fall asleep? I don't know. What if the bandits steal it though? It's okay. I don't think bandits are here. You secu we secured the area. You got fly on you. <laughs> what? Um, what did you see? It was just like a like someone like running by or something running by. Someone or something running by? It's probably some animal, you know. Maybe like a raccoon. Well, I just the bandits. Uh, um, the squirrel. Because they said they wanted it. Remember? Yeah, they did. And we kind of betrayed them because, well, of course, they're the bandits. We don't want to give them a wishing stone that may get grant wishes. And they had Audrey captive, so we kind of had to lie to them so we get Audrey back. Where should we fall asleep, Ty? Like, where are we going to make our bed? We didn't make camp yet. Uh, should we build shelter? Okay, guys. Well, we're going to camp here for the night and see what happens in the morning tomorrow. Okay. We'll tune back in later. Bye. Okay, guys. So... My plan is I'm going to sneak up on the boys and uh, try to keep an eye on them because I don't want them being alone in the wilderness. I also want to see what they're up to. What my family doesn't know is I'm actually really good at sneaking around and spying. I know details about everybody all the time. And what's funny is that they can't even figure out how I know all these things. How do I know them? Because I'm super sneaky. Come with me. We're going to go and try to catch the boys and see what they're doing as they um, spend their time alone and build camp. I know they went this way. I'm just not sure where, and I'm not sure how they're going to survive on their own. Like, how do two kids survive on their own in the wilderness? So I've got to try to be very sneaky. I don't want to get caught. So I also need to build shelter for the night. But I'm thinking if I could make like a, I need disguise. I really need to get like a shrub or something and disguise myself so I can inch forward to where they're at. That or else I just stay in the trees and get as close as I can to see if I can find out what they're talking about. What are they up to? I know that they went down this path, but I'm not sure where. There's no signs of them. I don't really want to stick in the trees, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to. I'm just worried about other creatures or bandits being in the trees. I don't know. I don't want to get caught. Oh, if I could just find a tree branch. Too bad I don't have any tools with me. If I had tools with me, I could find tree branches and build me a disguise to get close. Okay, we're just going to navigate through the pine trees and see if I can find them. Whoa, there's like a big mound here. What is that? I don't know what that is. That looks really suspicious. suspicious. I feel like I should get out of here because what if that's like an animal cave, like a bobcat or a skunk? You know, I'm gonna sneak out and away from that mound just because I don't want a critter sneaking up on me. Now this is the goal is for me to sneak around without something else sneaking on me. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm in really thick coverage. There's a lot of pine trees here. I don't, wait, here they come. I just saw them. I don't think they can see me. What is that hill behind me? I'm afraid somebody's gonna come out of it. Okay, I saw the boys. I'm gonna get deeper in the woods. What is that? Guys, that tree mound is crazy. They're over there, I saw them. Okay, so I know that at least one of them is wearing a red shirt. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're just wandering. I need to get closer. I'm gonna try to move. Oh, oh, there they are. I see them, I see them. Oh, right there. Can you guys see them? Where'd they go? Where did they go? Okay, I promise, they were just there. I don't know where they went. I don't think they can see me because these pine trees are super thick. It's so dark in here. Of course, I can't see anybody else either, which makes me nervous. I'm just hoping that no bandits followed us through. As long as I stay out of view and hidden in the trees, I don't think I'll get caught. Okay, I can't see the boys again. Where'd they go? Okay, I gotta find them. I don't know if I can get closer. Oh man, this is hard. We're gonna keep going through here. Oh, this is so creepy. Okay, gotta make it past here. How do I get past? You know what, we're gonna trailblaze it. Let's go. 
Okay, we made it through. I am getting closer to where they were at. However, I don't know where they went. I have my suspicions. So Ty, he hasn't let go of the any of the treasures that he has found. I don't know what he's up to. Jake seems pretty innocent, to be honest. It's hard for me to think that he'd be working with somebody else because he's so caring that I don't know. But could Ty honestly be spilling secrets to the bandits? All I know is ever since we found out about the bandits, they've always been one step ahead of us. I don't know how they've always been one step ahead, but they have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they heard me. Okay, that was a bird that flew past and scared the daylights out of me. I'm gonna see if I can see anything else in these woods and see what scared that bird up. Cause something startled that bird and it came flying at me. That means something bigger is moving towards me and I don't know where. I feel like I'm wasting time trying to track down the boys cause I need to build a shelter too for the night. I don't know how the boys are gonna survive tonight without a shelter. Should I go in and help them? I kind of feel like I need to just keep an eye on them and let them do this on their own so I can see if there's any clues or as to why they went off by themselves because they clearly did not want to come with me when we all said we were going on in our own ways. They went by themselves. I see them up there. I just don't know how to get closer to them. Oh, I hear them. Okay. Hey guys, I found them. They're literally right up there. I'm just gonna stay low. I'm ducking down. Okay, so secret tip, when you're spying on somebody, first find covering. Next, to get close, you need to stay low to the ground. Even if you're in the wild, you just have to watch out for critters and snakes. But you stay low to the ground and you can get close to them. I'm pretty close. I don't know if you can see, but check it out. They're right there. So far, they haven't spotted me. It's weird, I think he, Jake's talking about baseball. Why would he talk about baseball? He doesn't even play sports or like sports. This is really odd. I heard him say something about thousand. Thousand of what? Oh, I need to get closer, but they heard me. They're moving, I'm gonna move in. Try to get a little bit closer. Now, another important thing when you're spying on someone is to blend in with your surroundings. I kind of blend in with the branches. However, I have no green on me, but I don't have anything that I can break off branches to get the green in so I could be camouflaged. I don't want to ruin all the trees. I don't think I can break off any of these branches. They just bend. They don't snap. So I don't know how I'm going to camouflage myself. But if you're going to spy on someone, camouflaging yourself to look like the surroundings is a good way to go. Okay, they're on the move up there. What are they doing? It's like he's going around the perimeter. Ty just came really, really close to where I was at. What is going on? I feel like they put something in this area that I'm at and they're trying to come back and retrieve it or they're meeting somebody here in this location but they keep hearing me. If they're trying to meet Snake or a bandit to give them next clues as to what we're doing and I'm in the location, they may not come here. I don't know if I can find a new spot. What are the boys up to? This is really suspicious. I don't know if I can get up closer. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I gotta find out if they're trying to meet somebody. If they're trying to meet somebody, I need to know about it. Whoa, guys, there's like a rock wall over here. What? Wait a second. Check out this wall. What is this? There's like a natural foundation wall here and it goes along the perimeter. I don't know if I just stumbled upon an ancient ruin or what this is, but this looks like the foundation of a building. Is this like a landmark that they said, hey, meet me here? Why did the boys come to this location where there's a rock wall? I'm getting closer to them. Oh, they're talking about moving stones. I'm pretty close to them right now. Okay, they're talking about exploring the trail. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're going, they just left. While they just left to explore the trail, I'm gonna sneak into their camp and see 
if I can figure out what they're up to. Here's their camp. What is that gold thing in the fire pit? I wanna make a run for it, but I need to make sure that they're not looking. I'm gonna hurry and search their camp. Whoa, guys, they found a fishing pole. You know what? I'm gonna take that. I'm taking the fishing pole. I'm going, I'm getting back. I got their fishing pole. We're gonna see if they think a bandit came and took their pole or what they say happened, because this will give me clues as to who they're communicating with, what they're doing, why are they setting up camp here, and why they decided to go off in the woods together. This is really weird. I think they moved further down the trail. They are, they're down there. Okay, let's hurry and search their camp. They've got a nice fire pit. Looks like they've been gathering sticks. They've got the river here. They got trees. They just disappeared, I lost sight of them. You know what? I'm gonna get that fishing pole and just go with it and not lose sight of it and then try to track them down. I don't know whether to just follow this wall or wait for them to come back to camp. Wait, no, I just heard them. Who are they talking to? Guys, they're talking to somebody. I'm gonna sneak it down the trail. Oh, here they come. I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. Oh, run, gotta get in the trees, in the trees. Okay. What are they doing? Guys, they're going back to camp. Let's find out what happens when they find their fishing pole gone. Wait, what are they doing? They're looking at their fire pit. They don't know what happened to their fishing pole. It's gone. What are they doing? I think Jake looks upset because he noticed his fishing pole gone. He was probably hoping to catch fish for dinner tonight. Jake is a pretty good fisherman. He usually catches fish right off the bat. He does not look happy about this. I'm gonna watch him the rest of the night and see if I can find out any more details. To s then I'll know for sure whether they are the bandits or not. All right, guys, I have decided to walk into town and try to contact Snake because Snake is gonna get me some answers to some things. I don't know why the family's getting so upset and turning on each other. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, gotta make sure I cut that previous clip because I was wearing a bandana and I don't want anybody to see that because they'll think I'm, I'm a traitor, so. Guys, I uh, decided to come into town, follow the river, and uh, meet Snake because our family's turning on itself. We're turning on each other, I should say. Um, just everything's crazy. Nobody trusts each other. I figured if I can get some answers and then maybe I can take them back to the family, then I can uh, uh, maybe get this all set straight. So I figured Snake would help me. Here's the thing. I'm coming to town. I gotta, I gotta wear a mask uh, when I get around people because I don't want to, uh, I gotta social distance and we gotta do it right. So that's why I've got the mask on. Um, but I'm here in this little town and I figured this would be the best place because Snake kind of told me about this town, this old, this old Western town. So I, I came here, I've texted him. I'm still waiting for his response. Oh, he says he'll meet me by the train in 20 minutes. Good. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be epic because this whole traitor thing, it's insane. I've been reading your guys' comments. You think I'm the traitor, you think Katie's a traitor, you think Jake, Ty. Jake doesn't get too many of the traitor, so Jake might not be the traitor, but I've even seen the Otters, I've seen Logan, Audrey, Jordan, we're all traitors. But I'm telling you right now, I don't know who the traitor is, but it's not me. Snake, he told me, he would tell me who the traitor is. He keeps hinting around. I think I know, oh my goodness. Check this out. Look at that. Do you see that? Up there on that building. You know what that is. Guys, we've seen those way too many times. I know exactly what that is. I think you guys all know exactly what that is. That birdhouse is not an ordinary birdhouse. That's a camera. Now I'm wondering, did Snake send me down here? Did he set me up? Am I gonna get ambushed by the bandits? Let me look around the building here. I don't see anything. The sun is setting. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything if I turn the camera that way, but check this out. Let me look inside this building. Look what's in here. Can you see in there? 
there's a table set with one chair one chair maybe this is snake's house okay i'm here at the train station here's the train it doesn't look like it's been used for a while but look the numbers can you see that is that a one three six five is this caboose 1365 okay if this is caboose 13 because it starts with the number 13 i'm not liking the feeling you ever be in a place and you start to get those weird feelings like something crazy is going to happen the hair on the back of your neck starts to stand and you maybe get goosebumps kind of how i'm feeling right now i feel like i'm going to get ambushed this little town here is crazy you know i'm not sticking around by this train because a snake is coming he could easily ambush me here all right what is going on here I'm looking for more clues. Help me out here, guys. <laughs> what? This has seen better days. Whoa, stop 116. Look at this. Write this down. There's a clue, 116. Okay, all these numbers, they definitely mean something. I'm gonna walk down the street because I do not wanna be caught here. I think meeting me at the train is definitely an ambush. I don't know if I trust Snake anymore. Okay, I'm walking down the street and I notice this. This is so crazy. I should not have come here. Look up here. You see this? You know what that is? It's pointing right over there to where I was at. There's another one right there. Guys, there's a second one and it's pointing at this house. And guys, I saw, I saw a third one. It's right there in the corner. Okay, this whole place is under surveillance. Everything is being watched. I have a bad, bad feeling. Bandits are gonna start showing up. If you see any behind me, if you see any of them around, let me know, because I do not want to get ambushed. Check this out, guys. I wonder if this is one of the hideouts. Number 28. I don't know what 28 means. I'm starting to get a little crazed out here. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said that before, crazed out. But this, this little uh, town that I'm walking in, I basically have almost walked the entire town, no joke, in just a couple minutes I've been here. I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of the family. I think it's time for the family to get together. I can't yell family meeting because there's somebody up here. I gotta put my mask on. Okay guys, I don't know if you can hear me very well. I had to put the mask on because I came across a few people. One of them was super shady looking. I tried to turn the camera on, but he asked me what the camera was for and why I wasn't wearing my mask. So I had to put the mask on, put the camera away. I'm here to tell you, they went over to the train. Snake was there. I know who Snake is because I've seen him before. I've talked to him. He's over at the train. I'm gonna try to put the camera around the corner here so you can see it. He's talking to those guys. There's three of them. One of them does not look too happy. He kept looking at me like I was, like he knew me and that I wasn't supposed to be here. He did not look happy. So I don't know if he was an undercover bandit that couldn't do anything because there's, I'm right out in the open here. I mean, there's people's houses and stuff, so he couldn't really do anything. But I'm wondering if he's over there giving Snake uh, an earful for bringing me here and meeting him. Let's see if we can see him. They're in the train. I don't know if you can see inside the windows there. I can't zoom in because I don't have the right camera. Okay, I can't see him in the window anymore. Well, the okay, the door started opening. They're leaving. They just went that way. Snake did not look happy. His head was down like he just got in trouble. Hold on, let's see if I can see him. He's gonna be quiet. He just went in that door. I just saw the, the back of the brim of their cowboy hat. I've gotta get everybody together. I gotta to get the family together because if I can get them together, I can tell them the update of what's going on. I'm gonna use our call sign, the call sign that only my family knows about. We've done it only one other time. I don't think I've ever done it on camera before. So I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys what the call sign is. Okay, I'm texting everybody. Everybody, it's the shepherd calling Little Bo Peep and the lost sheep. Let's meet at these coordinates. Whoa. I think I just heard the door close. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. 